Hello, this is my tutorial on how to assemble the Timber Tough Portable Sawmill, model number TMS-36. The instructions left much to be desired and the photos do not show the correct nuts, or at least not all of the ones that came with my kit. Photos show the kit having all hex nuts, but there were several lock nuts in my kit and where to put those really matters. So after successfully building it, I took it back apart, grabbed my camera, and then filmed me putting it back together again in hopes of helping others to put it together correctly the first time. To get started, lay the frame brackets out in this orientation. They are both the same, so it doesn't matter which one is on which side. I'm going to go ahead and attach the fasteners. For the bracket on the left, you will use two of the lock nuts since the bracket will not need to move once installed. You should also have two of these wing nuts, which will go here on each frame bracket. Don't tighten it all the way because we will still need to slide the bar through the hole later. I'm also going to go ahead and put one of the U-bolts onto the left frame bracket followed by two flat washers and two of the long hex nuts. Now we just need to do the same thing for the right bracket, except we will use two of the long hex nuts on it in place of the two lock nuts. Next you will want to get the center guide rail, the handle rail, the handle, four bolts, two washers, two lock nuts, and two long hex nuts. To assemble this, you can start by first inserting the bolts into the handle rail, or you can slide them into the center guide rail first, and then align the handle rail, whichever works best for you. Install a washer and a long hex nut on one end, but not the other. Now put the handle in place and secure it with one lock nut. The handle doesn't get any washers. Insert the other bolt and then attach one of the long hex nuts onto it. I'm using a 13mm socket for the lock nut since this is much faster than using the included wrench. I'm not tightening them up all the way just yet because that will make assembly much easier later. Go ahead and insert the last bolt through the handle rail and install a washer and a long hex nut. Now we're ready for the next stage. Lay the two long rails out and then slide the right frame, the one with the two long hex nuts on it, onto the long rails. Then slide the handle assembly onto the two long rails. If you're going to install the plexiglass shield, you need to insert two of the bolts into each of the long rails at this point. 
I'm not using the shield, so I'll leave those off. Now go ahead and attach the left frame bracket that has the two lock nuts on it. This will be attached flush with the end of the long rails. You can go ahead and tighten the nuts on this bracket, just make sure that it's square with the long rails so that the other pieces don't get in a bind. You can go ahead and tighten the lock nuts on the handle assembly once you get it into position, then tighten the long hex nuts as well. Insert the push bar, the round metal tube, through the hole on the frame brackets until it's pretty close to flush with the left frame bracket. Then tighten the wing nut on the left frame bracket. You don't want to tighten the wing nut on the right frame bracket just yet because you will need to move the right frame bracket when you attach it to your chainsaw. The next step is going to be to assemble the end post. This will be the part that clamps onto the chainsaw bar closest to the motor. You will need the end post, the bottom bracket, and two of the long bolts. The instruction sheet shows to use two washers on this end post, but I didn't use them in this video. And as before, you don't want to tighten them all the way, because we still have to install it onto the chainsaw bar. For the chain guard end post, you will need to install the chain guard and the chain guard bottom bracket. One quick note, make sure the measuring numbers on this end post are facing the same way as the ones on the first end post. Otherwise they'll be backwards and you'll have to turn it around later. Remember to leave the long bolts loose like on the first one. Go ahead and insert the other U-bolt adapter clamp, or both of them if you haven't already. Slide the end post without the chain guard on it through the left frame bracket, and then finger tighten the long hex nuts. Then insert the chain guard end post into the right frame bracket. At this point, the Timber Tough portable sawmill is assembled and ready to be attached to your chainsaw. I didn't record video of attaching it to my chainsaw, but I did take a couple of photos and I'll give you a couple of tips. My chainsaw, an Echo CS590, has what's called a spiked bumper on it. As you can see, I'm losing a little bit of the cutting width of my sawmill as a result, so it might be worth removing this if you're maxing out your bar width. The picture in the sawmill owner's manual shows the chain guard end post clamped onto the sprocket area of the end of the bar. However, in the FAQ section for the Alaskan mill, it warns to make sure it's mounted behind any roller tip sprocket, which I don't know what that means since I'm still new to this. So you might want to check into that. Be sure the sawmill clamps the center of your bar and that the chain does not touch any part of the mill. I hope this tutorial helps, and if it has, please be sure to like and share this video so others can find it as well. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.